everybody, welcome to Doing Dental School. My name is Kajal Khatri. I am a first year dental student at Marquette University School of Dentistry, and I created this platform just to create sort of like this virtual mentorship where you can help me, I can help you, and we can all kind of achieve our goals together. So if you wanna stick around, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. So today I wanted to chat a little bit about being pre-dental in high school and how you can prepare for dental school while you're a high school student. I think this is like really important to me personally because I figured out that I wanted to be a dentist when I was in high school. I was actually a junior in high school, but I know a lot of people are in that same boat and I remember feeling like, oh my gosh, like what can I even do to prep? Like I feel too young to do a lot of things. I feel like a lot of things will count, all this stuff. So I kind of wanted to just be a mentor for you guys, kind of what my whole channel is about and kind of share some things that you can do in high school to help you prep for dental school. Also, if you are just figuring out that you want to be pre-dental and that you want to be on this pre-dental track, make sure to also look at one of my other videos. I'll definitely link it down below. It's kind of just like what being pre-dental means. So going over prereqs and kind of what the timeline is. So if you're interested in more of that type of stuff, make sure to look at that video down below. So first things first, you need to find value in what you're doing, especially in high school. I know I said before that a lot of what I personally felt was like, I don't feel like a lot of this stuff that I'm doing in high school counts. And yeah, that might be true. Honestly, I did not put that much stuff from high school onto my dental school application. But first of all, you need to realize that you actually like know what you want to do. Um, figuring out that you want to be a dentist and setting that high goal for yourself in high school is a huge accomplishment in and of itself. So definitely props to you for knowing what you want to do. Most people don't have that figured out right now. Second thing is, is that even though you might not put a lot of the stuff that you do in high school onto your dental school application, there's still a lot of value, personal value in what you're doing right now. So for me, a lot of the classes that I took, a lot of that is just like the foundation of what I'm learning in dental school. A lot of the activities that I did, they really benefit me and gave me this like whole world perspective of how I wanted to treat healthcare and how my perspectives are on healthcare. Um, um, also, a lot of the shadowing and experience that I gained gave me this sense of like, yeah, I really want to be a dentist. And it kind of just set that goal for myself of, yeah, like that's my end goal. I want to become a dentist. Okay, so now getting a little more in depth. So the first thing that you can do is shadow and gain experience. So as I said, most people don't have it figured out that they want to be a dentist and don't really know what they want to do with their career by the age of, you know, like high school. So 16, 17 ish. Um, so gain experience because that's how you know that, yeah, like this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And especially a lot of dental schools will ask you about shadowing experience, not because they just want to see like shadow hours on your application, but they find value in that of like, okay, you've taken the time, you've gotten to know the career, you've gotten to know the profession, you know a little bit about dentistry and you know this is what you wanna do for the rest of your life. So start getting that experience right now. And honestly, it's kind of fun because I think it gives you some kind of goals of like, okay, this is what I'm working so hard in school to get to. And it keeps that end goal in mind. So the next thing you can do while you're in high school is volunteer or serve within your community. As I said, for me, this kind of gave me a perspective on healthcare and gave me this real passion for healthcare. So specifically you can volunteer within healthcare. So find a local hospital or a dental clinic that's looking for volunteers. Um, other than that, I know for some of those volunteer positions, you do need to be 18. So if you're younger than that, and most probably you are if you're in high school, don't feel like you need to be volunteering just within healthcare. Any community service is great because it gives you this sense of giving back to your community and gives you this passion for healthcare, which is honestly what like healthcare itself is about. All right, so the next thing you can do in high school to prep for dental school is focus on your grades. And when I say this, I mean, seriously, like a lot of the stuff that I've learned in high school, which I know sounds like 
kind of dumb, but it is the core foundation of what I learned in dental school. The stuff you learn in bio will show up in dental school, I promise. The stuff that you learn in statistics and chemistry, and especially if you have like anatomy and physiology courses, things like that, that stuff is the foundation of what dental school is about. So if you understand that, you're gonna do great in dental schools. So really focus on your grades and build that core foundation of all of the education that you're gonna kind of add on top of that. So obviously if you're planning to go to dental school, um, you probably need to get a college degree and an undergraduate degree. So if you're in high school, start looking at some of the schools that you might want to attend for undergrad. Um, some things to kind of keep in mind, I have a list here, um, but some things to keep in mind are maybe like some special programs or classes that an undergrad university might offer for pre-dental students or pre-health students. Additionally, kind of going along with that, look at if that school provides pre-health counseling or pre-health advising. I know at Marquette, like we had um, an advisor who would actually like sit every single week and she would just have open office hours for pre-health students. So that was something great that definitely a lot of pre-dental students took advantage of. And then the other thing also, this is kind of if you're looking for it, is if the um, undergrad university has a strong pre-dental community. So for me, I really wanted that because I love talking to other older students who have kind of gone through what I'm going through and can give me advice and give me mentorship. So that was something that I was really looking for. Also, I love having pre-dental friends because I feel like we're all in it together and we're working together and working hard together. So if that's something that you're looking for, definitely look into that and see what the undergrad universities can offer to you. Look at different schools, in-state, out-of-state, private, public, all schools. Just research what schools have to offer for you. And maybe if you're not sure what you're looking for, this research can really narrow down what you might be looking for. So going along with that whole researching undergrad stuff, I want you guys to also keep in mind, which honestly, I know a lot of high school students don't really know about, which is why I'm including it in this video. There are a few programs out there that will accept you into dental school as a high school student. So I know Marquette has a program like that. I know University of the Pacific has a program like that. Just off the top of my head, those are like two that come to mind, but there are others as well. And these are programs that you apply to as a senior or a junior in high school and you'll get into their undergrad and also their dental school. So take a look at those programs. If that's something that you're interested in, definitely look at that because you can definitely have peace of mind of like, all right, I'm already in dental school. You can kind of like relax a little bit. And then going along with the whole researching schools thing, definitely look into dental schools, research what you're looking for in a dental school and what different dental schools have to offer. And I don't know, it's kind of fun to just look at that stuff, even though it may seem so far in the distance, it's like probably over five years away for you. But keeping that end goal in mind can really help motivate you to work hard now so that you can reach that end goal later. Okay, so kind of winding down, I think I have two more left. So one thing that you can also do um, in high school is practicing your fine motor skills. So in dental school and in dentistry in general, there's a lot of fine motor skills that you have to perfect. So. Um, for example, when you're prepping a tooth for a cavity, um, if someone has caries and they, you have to take that caries out, you have to take that like decay out. And that's, I mean, remember a tooth is like this big, it's so small and you have to create a very precise exact shape with certain angles and um, certain pressure and stuff like that to create a prep for that tooth. And so that requires a lot of fine mortar skills. And that's just one example of many things that you'll do in dental school and within your career as a dentist. So what dental schools actually look for is how have you practiced those fine motor skills? There's actually a question on the dental school application that asks about that. So some ways to practice that stuff, for example, is like playing an instrument, you know, that involves a lot of just fine motor skills, um, knitting, playing the piano, um, art, any type of 
thing that kind of involves small movements is really what they're looking for. And that's a really easy thing to start up on in high school if you don't have something that you're doing already. And then the last thing I'll say is find a mentor, whether that be a dentist, a dental student, someone who's pre-dental in undergrad, you know, anyone that you can kind of look up to. And first of all, they'll remind you of the end goal that I feel like I've talked about a million times of just what you're working so hard to become. The other thing is that they can offer you a lot of advice through the application process for college, for dental school, for prepping for dental school. Even while you're in dental school, I still seek mentorship because dental school is hard as well and there's a lot of new skills I'm learning right now. So find a mentor who you kind of feel comfortable talking to. I am always here for you if you need. Um, my Instagram DMs are always open. You can feel free to comment questions down below if you have any. Um, it's kind of what my whole channel is about is providing mentorship. So find a mentor who you feel comfortable talking to to get advice from and who's willing to share their experiences with you. All right, so that is all I have for you today. I'm sure there are a lot of other things that you can do in high school. So if you have any other tips that you thought of that I didn't mention in this video, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. And also if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. As I said, my Instagram DMs are always open. I love chatting with everybody. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I will see you next time. Bye.